Hey everybody, okay, film number one, Souls Museum, not at the museum, actually in my kitchen. So, today's mystery object is underneath the tissue paper. It's not the tissue paper. Right, so let's get rid of the tissue paper. There it is. That's the size of my hand, so that's kind of giving you an idea how big it is. Ah, okay. So here we go. This is today's mystery object. Um, I'll talk about the size of my hand. There's my hand, grown up hand. So how big is it? We need a ruler, I think. We need to measure it to see what kind of scale we've got. So there's our ruler coming in. Picture there. Oh, look, there's my name. There's my name, Owen, written on the ruler. So that gives you an idea. That's a, a normal 30 centimeter ruler. So what have we got? We've got, starts at nothing there, and we go along. And the ruler, yeah, so it's bendy. So it's not exactly 28, but kind of on the bendy, it's 28 centimeters long. Let's get the ruler away, because the ruler's nothing to do with it. So we've got this thing. I'm going to pick it up. It's from the museum. Do you think this is a very old thing from the museum? Let's have a think, hang on a minute. I've just picked it up with, have you ever seen on television, people wear gloves to pick things up? They wear gloves because they're very, very old. So, what does that tell you? Is this a very old thing? Or actually, not very old at all? So my question, is it real? Or, the museum word, is it replica? It means it's a copy of something that's very, very old. What do you think? Just touched it with my hands, no gloves on. Yeah, you guessed it. But we still haven't worked out what is this thing. So here we go, we'll start at this end. I'll turn it over for you a little bit like that. And we go around like that, it's shiny. It's quite solid. And I'll just run my finger along there like that. Have I cut my finger? Nope, so it's not sharp. And that's all of it. There's a couple of things there, and then there's some nice little lines there, and then it folds over and it goes back on there. What kind of colour is it? Let's think about clues. What colour is it? I would say it's kind of a gold colour. Do you think it's real gold? Mm, probably not, because it's look, it's a bit dirty. If you have a look at if mum or dad has got a piece of gold jewellery, have a look. And gold jewellery doesn't go dirty. Silver jewellery does, loads of other jewellery does, but gold jewellery doesn't, so it's not gold. Actually, this kind of metal, when it goes old and rusty, this isn't that old and it's not that rusty yet. But if we left it, it could go a, bit, a little bit longer, it would start to go green. Right, a lot of metal goes, there's a little bit of green there on the end of my finger. A lot of metal goes brown, goes rusty, but this kind of metal goes green. So quiz. What kind of metal is it? You work it out. Ask somebody. Look it up on the internet. Up to you. So, is this part of something? Was it? Is it broken off something? Mm, no, it's not. Um, is it sharp? No, nope. we've answered that one. So, do I pick it up from this end? So I give you a great clue? No, we don't pick it up from that end. We pick it, this does look like the handle. It is the handle. So I'll pick it up there. And then hold it up against the screen there. So what is it? All will be revealed. Have a good think. And then I'll tell you in a minute. Okay? So let's try making one of these mystery objects. We don't even know what it is yet, but we're going to have a go at making it. Here's the object, just to remind you what's it, what's it look like, what we're aiming to, to copy, to replicate, because we're making it a replica. There it is, there. so we've got a bendy bit there, it's kind of folded over, there's a fold there for the handle, that's kind of held together there. That's what we're going for, so I'll just move that out of the way. And then, we need some materials. So, all stuff you've got from home, hopefully, knocking around the house. A bit of tape, some sort of like masking tape, but cellar tape, any kind of tape really. A bit of paper, scissors, pencil, and yes, you guessed it. Look at that, yum yum. Okay, so, First of all, if you're not quite sure, you want to have a bit of a practice because you've only got, you're thinking, mm, hang on a minute, we've only got one cardboard box left. So let's have a practice, let's go for paper. A piece of paper, you can draw it or you can cut it. I can draw it, so we go, we need a nice long straight line, we've got one already, let's, let's use that. So we draw it all along there. And then do you remember it had a pointy bit? So let's do the pointy bit on there. And then scissors time. So if you're not, not great at scissors, ask somebody else, or just have a go yourself. And then you can see you could have, could have just done this straight away without drawing a line if you want to. Depends how brave you're feeling. And then that's our spare paper for later. 
and then we need to cut the end off because remember it was so it wasn't really pointy but it was um there you go a bit of a point on it and then we had the fold over bit so we can do that this isn't metal but we can do it even, even easier with paper fold over and then I fold there and then it was folded in so it's another fold as well a fold along that way now what i haven't worked out this is your homework guys gotta work this one out that's straight right how do we get that to be bent round like the real thing hmm there's a really good challenge we worked that one out probably maybe something to do with sticky tape i don't know i haven't worked that one out yet anyway that's our dummy run our practice so we put that to one side go for the cereal packet let's go for this should we do let's do a short one i'm gonna save i'm gonna save this cardboard for later for something else i've got in mind so scissors again and um, we're thinking about that kind of size that's what's that about a centimeter and a bit you can measure it if you want uh, cut it, look at that, look at that straight line, amazing. I haven't just been practicing this honest. Carbon to one side. Um, keep those tabs, keep this up. Right, so once again, folding over, there's our handle bit. And then, oh, what's he forgotten? He's forgotten the pointy end, hasn't he? So let's do that. Point, cut that over like that. Cut that over like that. I guess it wasn't, it wasn't really like really really pointy, just quite pointy. And then we need it to be like that, don't we? Like that. So here we go. Let's fold it over again. And so mine's quite quick, because it's a quick demo. But what's oh look at that, look at that, see? I made a mistake already. So there's my idea. So it's over to you guys. That's not very good, it's not very bendy. It's over to you guys. How do we make that bendy? Why did I do that? Big mistake. And also, it still looks like on that side, it still looks like a cereal packet. So maybe, if we've got some, some little bit of glue or something, we could actually stick some paper on there, change its color. I don't know, maybe color it in with a yellow pencil. I don't know, have a go, see what you think. So that's how we make our replica mystery object. We still need to find out what it is. So, did you guess what it was for? I bet you're looking at thinking, yeah, I bet it's some kind of cutting thing, maybe a hunting thing. We'll do with I don't know, uh, some kind of game maybe, some hoopy game or something for, uh, I don't know, scooping, something like that. Well, it was invented by the Romans and it was called a strigil. S-T-R-I-G-I-L. Spell that for me you in a minute. A strigil. And it was used for, what were the Romans famous for? Well, they're famous for their art, their thinking, they're very clean people, very sporty people. It was for used for cleaning themselves. This was something they use at bath time. Shall I show you how? So they either be running around getting very hot and sweaty or they go to their local sauna and they get all sweaty in the sauna. And then, well, the things I'll do for you guys, I've got permission to actually show you this. But because this is a replica, not a real museum object, I can actually use it as it, as it would have been. So I'm gonna cover the table, because this is where it gets messy, guys. Cover the table like that. And then it's sleeves up time, or sleeve up time because they'll get all sweaty. And then another thing Greeks and Romans are famous for, olive oil. A little bit of oil on the arm. Oh, that's, yeah, that's pretty gross. Yuck, yuck, yuck. And then that will be rubbed all over them. Yuck, yuck, yuck. And then along comes this our strigil, our amazing cleaning tool. And it'll be used like that. Can you see, it's pulling off the oil. And it'll be pulling off the dead skin and the dirt with it. Eww, apparently that's really good for cleaning it. It just feels a bit gross, actually, guys. Yuck, yuck, yuck. So I'm making a real mess there. Ugh. And that would leave them after they're cleaned. I'll have to have a bit of a, a, bit of a rinse off, leave them really clean. I'm gonna use a bit of that, because it feels pretty gross. That's it, it's a Roman strigil, used for cleaning themselves. When were the Romans around? How long ago was that? Was that before the Victorians? Way before the Victorians. Was it before or after the Saxons? Before the Saxons. It was, where's our timeline? So we're looking at Normans, Saxons, Romans, there we go. So we're looking at quite a long time ago. Our mystery object today was the strigil, and it was used for cleaning Greeks and Romans roughly 2,000 years ago. There you go. Thank you very much. I'll see you all again soon.